Hello and good day to all of you excellent people of God. It is Rhapsody time, reality time. Did you know that one of the most striking characteristics of God is that He never changes? That's right, He is forever the same. Hallelujah. Reading our team scripture from Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8, it writes, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Praise God. When we say Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever, it is not a statement we made up, neither is it a cliché. It is absolute truth and it came from the scriptures. Jesus has not changed. He is the same yesterday, today and forever. Oftentimes when people go through difficulties in their frustration, they cry, Oh God, where are you? The reason is that they are ignorant of the fact that God has already laid out a good plan for them. And you can read this in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. He has a good plan for every man, woman, boy or girl. Nevertheless, except and unless they look into the scriptures, they may never discover that plan. And when they don't discover it, they may cry, beg or plead and it will look like God is not listening to them. Meanwhile, he already provided the solution ever before they were born. But how can they know except someone shows it to them? This is in Romans chapter 10 verse 14. That is why he sent us to preach the gospel. The Bible, for example, tells us in Psalm chapter 33 verse 5 that the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord, yet the experience of a good number of people is one of sadness, pain, frustration. Why is it so? God, has God changed? Absolutely not. There are two major reasons for this, aside ignorance. The number one reason is that there is a devil that makes them blind to God's perfect will. The second reason is that other human beings who are inspired by Satan and the demons of darkness afflict other people with their selfishness and greed. They have used their own wickedness to frustrate other men. It is man's inhumanity to man. God knew what would happen and that is the reason He planned the answer long before you came. The answer is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! If you embrace the life that He brought and walk in the light of it, His glory will be manifested in your life. And in spite of the two aforementioned factors, you can use the power of His name to live above Satan and the systems of this world. His name has power in heaven, in the earth and under the earth. Hallelujah! The more you know about God, the more you love Him. He is gracious and kind, ever loving and faithful. Praise the Lord! Right now, I invite you to join us in taking this prayer as you repeat after me. Thank you, dear Lord, for the honor of helping people discover Jesus and their inheritance in Christ. I pray for new converts and God's people around the world today that they walk in the reality of the fullness of the blessings of Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. In our further study section today, you may take verses given by our man of God in the book of Psalm chapter 33 verses 4 to 5, John chapter 10 verse 10 in the Amplified Classic Translation, and Malachi chapter 3 verse 6. Glory, glory, hallelujah. The God life we have been born with needs to be practiced. So put the word of God to work today and don't be conformed to the ways and standards of this world. You have a different language, a different way of living now that you're born again. The only way to learn about this life is to keep hearing it from God's word like this. So subscribe to this channel today. Share these wonderful messages to members of your family, your co-workers and your friends when you click on the share button. You can also download a digital copy of the most translated daily devotional in the world today for free from the link in our description. The Rhapsody of Realities. Remember to join in on the global communion service with our man of God, Pastor Chris, this coming 7th of August at 11pm Malaysia time on all Love World platforms and be blessed. We trust 
you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com That's tnimsia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.